Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebble Host. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up nicknames on your server. So you will be needing the plugin called Essentials for this. So you will need a version that does support Minecraft plugins. This can be paper, spigot or bucket. We do recommend you picking paper as it is the most optimised. If you're not sure which server version you're running, you can scroll down to the jar and pre-install menu, click it, and then as you can see, paper, spigot, and craft bucket. As I said, we recommend paper, so click paper, and then select the version that you want. So we'll just stay up here, 1.18.1, latest. And then we'll click save. And if you had changed it, just make sure you then restart your server. Alright, so now that we have our server version set up, I'm going to explain what I'm going to show you today. So first of all, how to set a nickname, how to colour a nickname, how to format a nickname, and also how to remove a nickname. Alright, so first of all, we're going to need to install Essentials. Alright, so if you click the link in the description, it will take you to this website. As you can see, it's the official Essentials X website. You want to come down to the core file and click download. And then save it where you want, I'll just keep it on my downloads. Click save. And as you can see, my download has now completed. Now we want to go back to Pebble Host, click on the file manager, go to the plugins folder, click upload, file, and then find the file in your downloads. So you want to double click the file and it will start uploading. Alright, so there we go. You can then click back and then also restart your server. Once the server has restarted, we can go ahead and join it. And as you can see, we are now in the server. However, if you do try doing a command, like slash nickname, as you can see, we don't have access to that command. And this is because we don't have op. So to give yourself op, go back to Pebble Host. And if you are still in the game, you can scroll down, go to connected players and you'll see your player name. You can then click op. And then it will say confirm op command for your player name. And then simply just click op. So the first thing we're going to show you how to do is simply just create a nickname. So you want to do slash nick. You can also do slash nickname, but obviously slash nick is way quicker. And then you want to put the nickname that you want. You can also set nicknames for other players by doing their player name and then the nickname you want for them. But as I'm doing it for myself, I can just do slash nick and then the name I want immediately. So for this, I'll just put pebble. And now my nickname is pebble. So if I was to just spam something in chat, as you can see, I now come in chat as Pebble. However, as I am op, my default name color is red. So I'm now going to show you how you can make it loads and loads of different colors. So once again, if you're to do slash Nick, you then want to pick a color code. So on the screen right now, there is a bunch of color codes that you can pick from. So the color code you need is the and symbol and then the letter or number. So let's say I wanted to do gold. We would then do the and symbol and then six and then without a space we want to put the name so let's go pebble once again so we have slash nick and six pebble and if we press enter our nickname is now pebble so if we were to put something in chat as you can see our name is now that color let's say you wanted multiple colors in your nickname you could do slash nick and then the color code for the first letter so i'll do four for example and we'll put p and then another and, and then let's say six, and then an E, another and, and a nine. I'm sure you get it from here. Then we'll just put the rest of the word like that. So now, as you can see, we have loads of different colors in our nickname. And of course, it's completely dependent on what you do pick as the color codes. But yeah, it's pretty cool and pretty easy to be able to change your nickname and that simply, and also pick the colors just how you want them. So now I'm gonna show you some formatting options this includes underlining, strike through, italics, and also bold. So let's say I wanted my nickname to be underlined. I would do slash nick, and then an and, and then the letter N. And then of course, the word that I want. So as you can see, if I type something in chat, my nickname is now underlined. So you can also combine colors with formats. So let's say I wanted the word to be pink, but also underlined. So for the closest thing to pink, I'll have to pick light purple, which is and, and then the letter D. So I'm going to do slash Nick, and, D, and then another and, and then N for underline. And then you want to put your word. So I'll put pebble. And as you can see, I now have a pink and also underlined nickname. You can also combine different formats. So let's say I wanted an underline name that is also bold. 
So for bold, I would do slash Nick, and then and, and then the letter L. And then if I wanted it to be underlined as well, I would do and, and then the letter N. And then put the name. And as you can see, our text is now much thicker, and it's also underlined. So yeah, once again, really, really easy and really cool to do as well. And it is quite customizable. Now I'm going to show you two more things, which is italic, and then something else which I like to call scrambled. So for italic, you want to do slash Nick, then the and symbol, and then the letter O. And then of course your name. And there we go, as you can see, it is now actually in italics. And then for a scrambled nickname, you want to do slash Nick, and, and then the letter K. And then of course your word. So I put in pebble, but it doesn't really matter what you put, as as you can see, it's kind of just a mess of different letters and characters. So as long as it is that amount of letters, it should work fine. But yeah, it's not like they're really going to be able to read it anyway. And that's all I'm going to show you for colours and format. I'll leave a link in the description to all the different formats and colours you can do. However, the last thing I'm going to show you is how to remove your nickname. So let's say you wanted to delete your nickname. This is also very, very simple. You would do slash Nick and then the word off. And as you can see, I no longer have a nickname. So yeah, once again, really, really easy to do. If this video did help you out in any way, shape or form, definitely leave a like and also subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.